<laughs> Welcome back to Thrift Flip Friday! Everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's doing well. If you're new, my name's Tay Luna. Welcome. We have a fun hippie spiritual channel, but every Friday we do Thrift Flip Friday. We talk about selling things that you already have from your home, clearing out space, making a little extra money, and also thrift shopping to resell. So if you want to learn how to do that or just kind of see some behind the scenes, then this is definitely the video for you. <laughs> if you want to check out last week's video, I'll go ahead and link it down below. Today I think we're going to talk about the whole shipping process and really break it down. So let's do a to-do list for today. I want to go ahead and package everything. I'm going to show you guys my entire shipping process from start to finish and then I'm also going to show you guys at the very end how I um, schedule my package pickup on USPS.com for totally 100% free. It's the best and we will talk about where I get my shipping supplies, what shipping supplies I use and all of the goods. So if you're interested, if you're excited, give this video a thumbs up and let's get into the video. I actually have, where's my phone? <laughs> I actually have a lot of stuff to ship, but I probably won't make it to the post office today. It's three o'clock now and our post office closes at five, so I probably won't make it. I don't like rushing, it makes my anxiety just do the things, so we're gonna slow down, you know? For me personally, everyone is different. Um, I try and ship once a week just because it is such a long process and when you do it, multiple times a week. It's just like multiple times of you making your apartment a complete mess. Um, I use all recyclable, I don't wanna say recyclable materials. The, the materials that I purchase to use are all recyclable. It's all made of paper, so it can it will all just disintegrate. Hopefully you guys recycle my packaging, but I also reuse packaging that I have gotten in gifts, in other boxes, all of my Amazon, you know, envelopes and boxes. I reuse everything um, and that's really helpful. So I don't really know how I came up with why I started talking. Oh yeah. So it's kind of a lot to get everything out multiple times a week. I just do it once a week and then if I have a lot of orders, like an overwhelming amount of orders, which is always a good thing, um, it just takes a little bit longer, then I'll usually split it up and do two days. If you guys didn't see, I'll link the video down below. I actually reorganized my entire shipping material closet so it's a little bit easier to pick through. Hi, sir. But it is Monday today, so it is shipping day, and I am at least going to try and get everything packaged and ready to go. If all else fails, something that I am going to do in this video, I'll show you how to do it, and I definitely need to take advantage of a lot more than I do, um, is you <laughs> It's utilizing the free USPS pickup service that they offer. Um, if you are you know packaging up a lot of boxes and for me it's a lot of really big boxes and my like five foot self is trying to bring all these boxes into the post office it's kind of a lot sometimes when they come to drop off your mail every day they will pick up whatever packages you had just making sure blue is not eating my plants because he loves not even to eat my plants to eat the soil he thinks it's food <laughs> When you go into your Depop store, so this is how it looks today. Dun dun dun, here's my shop. <laughs> By the way, follow me on Depop, it's at Tayluna, just like everything else. Um, but when you go up to the top, the receipts little button right there, that's where you can see all of your orders. And then if you buy things, your purchases are here. It comes with all the tracking information, everything you need. Um, so if you do buy something from my store, this is how you also will be able to track your package and stuff like that. I have these to ship. Now you guys can stare at my cute dog in the background. You're welcome. <laughs> but I did update my shop policies, which you guys can see here. In my shop policies that I updated, I state that I ship every Monday. However, today is Monday, and I'm not positive I'm gonna be able to ship packages um, and get them to the post office in time. So what I did, instead of ignoring it and doing it tomorrow and, you know, Sometimes people don't, usually people don't say anything if it's like a day or two days later than you told them you would ship, but 
coming from somebody who, you know, I wanna be a good shop owner. I want my customers to return and to buy things from me again and again. So I want them to be as updated as they possibly can be with where their items are. So I went ahead and posted this post. It basically says that I'm going with my mom to her post op stuff today. Do my best to ship orders, but everything will be shipped by tomorrow, if not. So um, that's just something that I like to do to like keep everyone in the loop, let everyone know. Another thing that you can do is just go in and message each person that bought something from you and say, hey, just wanted to let you know I'm gonna be shipping tomorrow instead of today. Thank you for your patience. Just keep everyone updated. If it's going to take a while, people are usually super cool, but they just need to know. The first thing that I do is I just look at my receipts tab on Depop and obviously see what things I sold. And now we're going to go and take them out of storage. So let's do that. Look at this sleepy man. I love you. I haven't talked a whole lot about this yet. Um, I'm going to do an entire video, but if you guys have been following along, you might be catching on. Um, you know I have my Depop store, which is awesome. I love it. But I am in the process of opening, creating, launching my very own online store. Um, it's on my website, tayluna.com shop. You can go and check it out right now. It's not officially launched, but there are products and things on there that you can buy. The point of me telling you this <laughs> is that some of the items that I have listed on my Depop store are also going to be stocked like regularly stocked on my website. If you guys would like to see a video on organizing all of my stuff also, I would be happy to do that. It's been a, a, a big struggle for me. So maybe I can help you out. <laughs> I have all of my clothes separated by like article of clothing. That sounds really strange. Um, but like I have all of my shirts in one place and all of my, you know, leggings in another. So here is the shirt that I sold. It makes it a lot easier to find your items when you separate them. So I have everything laid out for shipping. I wanted to share with you guys the sustainable packing materials that I have found and that work really well for me. Um, I ship home decor all the time so a lot of my pieces are very large they're fragile um they're glass you know whatever so i used to be using so much bubble wrap and so much foam paper and tape and all kinds of stuff and i decided that i really wanted to make a big big effort especially before launching my actual real online store um, I wanted to figure out a way to make my shipping as sustainable as it could possibly be, which is very, very hard. If you guys have any more suggestions, I would love to hear them in the comments down below. Please let me know. Um, but I have two things, two things to share with you guys. The first thing that I decided to get is just plain packing paper. This came in a super big, thick roll. Um, it's lasted me quite a while. I used to get all of my shipping materials from the dollar store just because it seems like it's cheaper. I figured out very quickly that it's actually way more expensive to do it that way overall, and it's super, super, super inconvenient to have to go to the dollar store every time somebody orders something from you. It just makes the shipping process even longer, and it's already super long anyway. Um, so I decided to just order a really big roll of just literal packing paper. That's all it is. It is paper. It will disintegrate and go away forever. Unlike plastic, unlike bubble wrap, this will go away. So I got a big roll and I'm going to link everything down below. It's all from Amazon. Um, it was pretty inexpensive. So that was the first thing. The second thing that I found is this big box right here. So I have a lot of fragile things and I don't want to use bubble wrap so we have an alternative for that um, but I also didn't want to use like packing peanuts or anything like that um, so what I did is I ordered this 10 pound box of paper crinkly things <laughs> It's basically the exact same thing that roll is, but cut up into shreds. Um, and it looks like that Easter grass stuff, but it's just paper. So I got a 10 pound box for like 25, 30 bucks, something like that. It has lasted me so long, so long. These were the biggest, most amazing and smart investments 
very small investments in this little business of mine. Um, yeah, it saves you so much money, so much time. And then you don't have to be so worried also about when your person, when your client, when your customer gets their items, um, you know, I'm always thinking about, okay, well, they're probably just throwing everything away and not recycling things and whatnot. You know, I hope so. Um, but I'll just make the assumption that they're throwing it away. So I wanna be able to make sure that there's the least amount of waste as possible. And with these things, even if they do, unfortunately, just throw them away, they will disintegrate in probably not that long. So that's really good, I love that. Another way that you can be very sustainable is to steal, <laughs> not steal, collect, all of the packaging that you possibly can from friends and family. I have, and I'm sure you do, I'm sure almost everyone you know also has Amazon Prime or at least uses Amazon. Um, all of this bubble wrap, all of this plastic, like air pillows, I keep and reuse all of it in my shipping. I have all of these like bubble mailers so it keeps things a little bit more protected. So even though I'm not going out and buying these things to protect my items, when I do get them, I will use them instead of just throwing them away. And it's also going to be a lot cheaper for you if you have friends save boxes and bags and things for you that they have ordered. Um, it's going to save you a lot. Speaking of saving, there is a way that you can get free shipping materials from USPS, but the only catch is that you have to be using their priority mail service. So if you're shipping on Depop, um, the first cheapest option for the small box is not priority, it is first class. It is up to a half a pound, but anything after that, the medium, the large, or the extra large box uses priority shipping. So what that means is you can just go to your post office or you can go online and order or literally just go in and grab the box that you need in whatever size, take it home, print your label out, and you're good to go. If you are using priority mail, the boxes are free. Um, and you can also go online, and I like to order the military box set. It comes with a bunch of different sizes and a big thick roll of tape that has the priority mail thing all over it. Um, tape is another thing that can get really expensive, so if you go on and order one of those, again, it's free, they will ship it to you. It does take a little bit of time, um, so definitely order a couple at a time when you do it. But yeah, you'll get a big thick thing of priority mail tape, so when you do any priority packages, you can use that. The only other thing you'd have to worry about is your smaller packages, and that is what I have all of this for. <laughs> so um, it's super convenient to do it that way. So I will link everything that I'm mentioning down below. It's not sponsored at all. I don't get paid. I'm not getting money. I just want to help you guys out um, and hopefully keep this sustainable. The nice thing about USPS stuff is it's cardboard. So it's recyclable. Is recycling real? Eh, not really. That's a whole nother topic. But anyway, now that you guys know what I ship with, I do for tape and stuff like that. I use regular tape. I buy it from the dollar store still. I get the big, let me show you. Tape gets very expensive also. So I buy them from the dollar store. You can get a big thing of like, I think it's called moving tape at the dollar store. It's not where the normal stationary stuff is. It's in the back by the hardware stuff, like by the duct tape. You'll find the really big, thick shipping tape. Um, and then they have these packs of, I think it's like packs of six or eight little rolls of clear tape like this that fit inside of here. So if you, you don't even need to order a plastic casing, I just already happen to have one. I would recommend not buying one <laughs> because there's a little plastic piece that you have to throw away every time you use up your tape roll. So um, you can just go in and buy, there's like, like I said, I think it's a pack of six little rolls of tape like this that you can just change out in your little dispenser. Um, and that works really well for me. Also, I really want to find an alternative for this, but it is the one thing that like I need to have good sticking things to make sure my boxes don't fall apart. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know. It would really help me out. But let's jump into the shipping stuff. 
So this is what we've got going on. So these are the packages that I am going to be packing up today. This is actually one of the items that I'm gonna be stocking regularly on tayluna.com slash shop. I have these super cute glass pressed flowers. My mom will always save her subscription boxes and they are perfect for stuff like this. Um, they keep them a little bit safer too in a box versus sending something glass like these in a bag. So I definitely prefer that. For this shirt, I am just throwing it in this Amazon bubble mailer that again, I already had and am reusing. So that works out perfectly. And then this super cute wooden shelf is going to go in this box here. I know it looks like it doesn't fit, but I promise it does. I will show you. Um, um, so this is what we are working with. The last thing that I like to include in all of my packages is a business card. I just got my cards remade and I am literally obsessed with them. The back looks like this. You guys can use that code, wink, wink, wink. Um, focus. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and throw one of these in all of my packages. So the first thing I'm gonna package are these glass little wall hangings. I thought it would be good to show you guys how I package something that's a little bit more fragile. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is actually grab some of this bubble wrap that I have left over from other packages. So if I don't happen to have bubble wrap because I don't buy it, I just reuse it if I happen to have it. So what I will do if I don't have any bubble wrap because I do not buy it, I will only use it if I have it from a package, you know, that somebody gave me to reuse. I will use this paper and I will use this crinkle wrap as literal makeshift bubble wrap. So I would lay some down like this put some on top, and then I would wrap it up, just to kind of give you guys an idea. But I do have bubble wrap, so we're gonna use a little bit of that, and then we'll do that part. Another thing that I used to do that I don't really do anymore is buy really cute like wrapping paper to put over things. It makes the package look very cute and aesthetically pleasing, but it is nothing but just extra waste, so I just can't bring myself to do it. I honestly think this paper looks nice anyway, so it's all good. Since I already have bubble wrap, I'm only going to use a little bit of this stuff. I just want to show you guys how I do it. This is when you can get real creative. You can wrap some twine around it, make it look really cute, but it looks like a little Christmas gift. I honestly think that that looks super cute and minimal anyway. I am a fan. Yeah. So I actually decided to unwrap this one a little bit and keep the sides out like that, so it kind of sticks up. And I'm gonna put a little bit more of this paper wrap. Just be patient. You want your items to show up and you know be in good shape. The most important thing to do with items that are like this, that are a little bit fragile, is to make sure that you fill in all of these spaces so when it slides around, there won't be any chances of it breaking. I'm gonna go ahead and just pop my little business card on top and it's good to go. So I'm gonna just kind of push down all of this paper, make sure that when they open it, it's not just gonna fly out because that's so annoying. I will just write on the box what is inside of it. So we have the I'm gonna just write flowers because I know what that means. Um, and then when I go to print out all of my labels when I'm done packaging, I know exactly what goes where. Obviously, if you would prefer to like package it and then print the label and then do it all like that one at a time, go for it, do your thing. I personally like to just package everything 
and then I print out the labels last. So the next one is gonna be a little bit simpler. It is just this t-shirt here. Just make sure that there is nothing wrong with it. It's going to be wrinkled, so I'm not even going to bother ironing it because it's gonna get wrinkled while it's shipping anyway. But all I do is just fold it nicely, make it look pretty. I like to put my business card on the inside of clothes when I send them, just so the cards don't get lost. And I know that when they open their shirt, they will see my business card. And I'm gonna actually rip this off. This is a perfect example. I could wrap this with some paper and like make it look, ooh, so cute. Um, but again, that adds to waste. So I'm gonna just stick it on the inside. And then because it's smaller than the actual package size itself, I'll just roll it up and tape the sides. And if you guys don't know, there's a really nice hack so you don't have to always be peeling this back up. You know, when you cut it and then it falls back and closes itself. Um, all you have to do is just do like a little bunny ear and fold it down. This is really, really hard to show. You just literally fold half of it down and then it won't, like even if it goes all the way down, you have a little you know what I'm saying? I can't find words to describe that. So I'm gonna write on here, it is the pink shirt. So the last package I'm going to do for you guys is this wooden shelf. I have a lot of these on my store, so go check it out. The first thing and one of the most important things that I'm going to do is clean this bad boy. All right. So I just have a wet rag, it's just wet with some water. Um, you can use wood cleaner, whatever. And I just like to clean it off. I do store some of these out in the closet, so I wanna make sure that there's no dust on them or anything like that. I'm going to get her packaged up. So when I ship these wood shelves, you really don't need to have all of this packaging and padding and stuff. Just because it's wood, like nothing's gonna happen to it. So what I'm gonna do is I will wrap it in this. And the reason I'm gonna do this is because it's gonna keep this little shelf intact also. Um, and I don't want that to kind of fall out. I have my box. And I'm literally just gonna lay it right in the box. And it fits really well. Um, if you are worried about it sliding around and getting ruined or anything, you can absolutely fill it with more of that packing paper. It's really personal preference. So when you do reuse boxes, make sure you peel off all of the labels that are there um, or cover them, like tape another label or paper on top. Now all I have to do is print the labels. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. You print your labels on Depop in the same place where you go to look at your orders. So when you get to your shop, you're gonna click the little receipts tab at the very top. Once you get here, you can click on the actual item and it'll tell you that you need to drop it off at the post office, but you can view your shipping label. If you ship through the Depop app, you can just click view shipping label. Um, and I just print this, I don't wanna show you cause it obviously has shipping information, but I literally will print it straight off of my phone. So you can see the shipping labels right down here. I'm just covering all the info and then I'm literally just gonna print it directly from my phone. And you'll hear my printer turn on. And that's it, it's super easy. If you do shipping on your own, all you'll have to do is package up your order and either take it to the post office and go to the counter and do it with them there. Or the way that I prefer to do it is I order my shipping labels through PayPal. The best thing is that PayPal and Depop are linked 
already. So what you can do is when you're when somebody purchases something from your Depop store, all of the information for their shipping is going to be on your PayPal. Um, so all you have to do is log into your PayPal account and you can click create shipping label. It'll ask you how much your item weighs. So you will need to be able to weigh it somehow. Um, I got a scale literally at the thrift store for $2. So you can do that or order one on Amazon. It's going to be cheaper in the long run if you do it at home like this. Going to the post office, it's gonna be super expensive. When it comes to getting tracking information for the two, if you're shipping through Depop and you have your shipping label sent to you like this and you print it out, you don't have to do anything to update the tracking information. As soon as the USPS people scan that in, um, all of the updates will be sent right to the people on their Depop app through the receipts tab that I showed you. So you don't have to do anything. If you're shipping on your own and you're going to the post office or you're doing a PayPal label or you know whatever else you decide to do, the only thing that you have to do is you have to go in and you have to add the tracking number. So that pink t-shirt that I wrapped up is an item that I decided to do shipping on my own for because it's going to be cheaper for the buyer um, so what it does is it literally sends me the address for this person and then underneath the address I'm gonna cover their address so you can't see it and then underneath the address it's gonna say mark is shipped it's gonna ask for the shipping provider which for me is always USPS but you know it might be different for you it just depends on your preference and then it's gonna ask for the tracking number down here the tracking number is that really, really long number right above the barcode on your shipping label. It's like 26 numbers long, so it's a pretty long number and they chunk it up into groups of four, just so you kind of know what to look out for if you've never shipped before. Um, so that's the number you're gonna wanna type in. Again, this is only if you do shipping on your own. If you ship through the Depop app, you don't have to worry about any of this. But that's just so you guys know. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all the labels onto these and then I will show you guys later how to schedule a package pickup to get all your packages, super easy. Okay, bear with me guys, I forgot to record this part so I just wanted to show you very quickly how to schedule a pickup. All you're gonna need, <laughs> and totally ignore all of my tabs, oh my God. Oh my God. Um, so all you need to do is go to usps.com and then you're gonna mouse over to mail and ship and scroll down to schedule a pickup. First thing that it's gonna have you do is enter your address that you are going to be shipping from. So once you enter your address, it will let you know if the service is available at your address or not, mine is. Then it'll ask you if you have a dog at the address so you can mark that. Then you'll scroll down and it'll ask you where you're gonna leave your packages. Mine's always at the front door and then you can select your time. So if you want it to just be picked up when your regular mail is dropped off, it is free, which is what I always do. Um, you can select your day too if you wanna do this ahead of time. If you need to select a specific time for it to be picked up, they do charge you, so keep that in mind. And then it's gonna ask you about the packages that you are shipping. So it's gonna ask what kind of shipping it is. I usually do first class and priority mail. So you're gonna enter how many packages of each that you have. And then you'll scroll down and add the estimate and total weight. So all of the packages combined, what is an estimate of the weight? This doesn't have to be exact, just so that they have an idea. And then you just mark that you've read their terms and schedule your pickup. It's that easy. To get your supplies too, it's in the same mail and ship. You can hit stamps and supplies. And free shipping supplies is right here. So click on that. And then you'll have all of the options for priority packaging that you can order straight to your door. Like I said earlier in the video, it does usually take a while, so I like to order it in bulk, but you can always just go to your actual post office and grab some in the meantime while you're waiting. I forgot to film an outro, so this is Editing Taylor saying thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys learned a lot from this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will answer them for you. And yeah, I love you guys to the moon and back. I will see you on Monday for my next video. Bye! Mwah.